Um, okay, thank you. Okay, good morning, class. My name is Lucky Tazi. I am your natural sciences presenter for today. Um, please don't forget to follow us at African Tip Geeks at uh, DBE underscore SA. Also, uh, do hashtag us, hashtag STEM champions, and follow me on my Twitter account. It's Lucky Tazi. And I hope you enjoyed this um, this lesson for today. And please bear in mind, this is a lesson of which is a continuation from last week Friday, because uh, on last week Friday, we did have some uh, technical difficulties. And so let's continue with um, last week's uh, Friday topic. Thank you. OK, then at the end of um, the lesson, I uh, want you to understand that um, in this world, they are plants and um, and animals. Then at the same time, um, I want you to know about the food chain. And after the food chain, we will talk about the life cycle as well. Then at the end, we are going to unpack parts of animal skeletons. As you can see or look at the pictures, the picture, first picture on your right hand side, it's the picture of um, of eight, planet eight. And as we all know that planet eight has water, there's land, there's different interesting animals of which we are going to unpack as well. Then let's look at the picture in the in the middle. The picture in the middle also um, it's a picture of a food chain. What is more important um, in order for you to understand and comprehend um, the food chain is to always follow the sequence of the arrows. As you can see, the arrows move from left to right. Then I am going to unpack this as well. And then part of animal skeletons, the last picture on the bottom, as you can see, it's different animal skeletons. Then, yeah, let's move on. I hope you guys understand. Boom. Plants and animals on, on Earth. Um, on Earth, we do have uh, a variety of many um, animals of which some of the animals do have skeletons, of which a skeleton we can say of the animals do not have bones. Let's look at the picture on the bottom of the screen. Let's start off first with um, vertebrates. Vertebrates, these are the animals which have bones. As you can see, we do have a fish, we do have a bird, we do have a reptile, or we can say it's a snake, and we do have a, a frog, of which these are animals with bones. And also we can add from, from our own um, knowledge, uh, we are still talking about vertebrates, okay? At home, possibly some of you, you do have dogs, you do have cats, some of you have kettles, and all of those animals, we call them vertebrates because they have bones. Then let's move along to invertebrates. In invertebrates, in these are the animals which do not have um, bones. These are animals which um, we call them invertebrates. Let's unfold the, the content. There are many different plants and animals living in different habitats on Earth. South Africa has a wide variety of indigenous plants and animals in their habitats. Interdependent. The interdependent, we are talking about animals that depend on each other. Let's say perhaps we all know that a lion is a carnivore 
and a lion depends on springboks or we can say perhaps it depends on it depends on um, on other animals that eat grass it depends on happy bulls. they also depend on the resources available such as air water soil food and places to hide in their own habitat this is still uh, interdependent then animal types then animal types then here we are talking about animals which do have um which live on 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 egg there are different kinds of animals okay some do have bones some do not have bones um then animals with um without bones as i said earlier on we call them invertebrates these are animals with a hard skin these are animals with um, a shell-like um, skin to protect their bodies. Some have bones, which we call them vertebrates, as we have um, specified um, on the content, sorry, on the pictures below. Then, now, let's talk about a a food chain as i said earlier on a food chain it describes the relationship between plants insects and other animals if we look at this picture of the food chain as I have explained in the beginning of the lesson. We have to follow the sequence of the arrows. As you can see, how many arrows are here? It's one, two, three. Okay, then this is the grass. And the grass feeds on what? On the sun and the grass feeds on water. Then we have a grasshopper. A grasshopper de uh, depends on the on the grass. Then, a grasshopper also is also an insect, which is more important to to the frog's um, life in order for the frog to exist and to to survive. The frog has to eat what insects, such as the grasshopper. Also, as we go down following the sequence of the arrows, there's a snake. A snake depends for its sole survival. It depends on the frog. Therefore, the snake eats the frog. Then, when we do it um, um, in a manner which is quick and, uh, and simple, it's the grass, the grass, Grasshopper, the frog, and the snake. The snake depends on the frog. The frog depends on the grasshopper. The grasshopper depends on the grass. Then, the grass again depends on the sun and water. Food and feeding. Green plants make their own food and build their own branches and stems using water and carbon dioxide. Um, as we know, uh, possibly where you stay, there are plants at your home, um, there are trees where you stay, and we all know that for the survival and for the trees and the grass and the flowers to grow, they have to be watered and they have to get what? The oxygen. From the air and the energy from sunlight, 
plants use carbon dioxide from the air and releases oxygen into the air. Then us as human beings or as people, we depend on the sunshine. We also depend on the oxygen that we breathe. Imagine living in a place or living in a planet whereby there's no sunlight, there's no water, there's no oxygen. What would happen to you? Possibly you might die or you might you might suffocate from I don't know. But yeah. Animals need food to carry out their life process to move, feed, grow, sense the environment, excrete, breathe, and reproduce. Why is it so? These animals, whenever they give, um, whenever they produce babies, they depend on what? They also depend on other animals and they also depend on other um, organisms such as your, your grass and plants for their sole survival. All animals depend on plants as their primary source of food, herbivores, carnivores, and omnivores. Let me unpack for you um, this term, herbivores. Herbivores, these are the animals that depend on, on grass. These are the animals that depend on your, your trees. Um, or we can say these are animals that solely depend on plants and flowers. What type of these animals are, perhaps you can say a springbok, an, an elephant, a giraffe, um, a cow, and, and so on, or even a rhino. And so please uh, give me some of the happy words that you know. And so please type in in your chat box some of the happy voice that you know or that you can recognize. Please type in the chat box, then I'll check for you. Let's move right along to the second one, carnivores. A carnivore is an animal that depends on, on other animals. It depends solely on meat. And these are animals which are identified to be aggressive and wild such as a, a lion. Let me give you one example, which is a lion. And can you type also in your chat box about carnivores? At least give me three carnivores that you know about. As I have given you an example, it will be a lion. A carnivores, these are animals that eat meat. Let's move to the third one, omnivores. Omnivores, these are the animals that um, eat meat and plants. That eat meat and plants. Um, a baboon, okay, then um, some chickens also, they eat meat and plants. A, a pig is also a, a, an omnivore and a dog is also an omnivore. And so in the chat box, can you give me two or can you type me two uh, answers of, um, of omnivores? Let's continue again with our food chain. A food chain describes the feeding relationship between plants and animals, as we have discussed in this picture. A food chain is, it starts with a plant that produces food, as we can see in the picture, 
the food chain always starts with a, a plant. Then it goes through to other animals or insects. Then follows with an animal that eats plant, of which in our case here, it's a grasshopper. After that, with an animal that eats that animal, of which it will be a frog in our scenario. Include the transfer of energy which flow from plant through to the last animal in the food chain. And our last animal here in our food chain, it was a reptile, or we can say a snake. I hope you guys understand what a food chain is. And also, um, in, our, in our previous slide, we did discuss about, um, about vertebrates and invertebrates. Okay, then animals with skeletons. Animals with skeleton. Then our animals with skeletons, let's look at the picture here. The bottom picture. A vertebrate skeleton consists of bones and joints and inside the body. A vertebrate is an animal which have bones. In our case here, the first um, vertebrate, it would be an elephant. And the second one to be a horse, a hyena, a whale, and a dog. As you can see, the description of the picture, it shows the bones. Bones are hard and from a strong, and they form a strong shell or, 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 or structure. A skeleton provides support for an animal body and protection for its organisms. For example, as humans, as human beings, we do have our own skeleton. This skeleton helps out, helps us as human beings to carry out our body to move from one position to the other position. All animals um, which fall under the category of vertebrates, they do have a skull. A skull, we can say perhaps it's a head to protect their brain. As much as us as human beings, we do have a skull that protects our brains. Backbones with vertebrates, um, protect the spinal cord. Ribs uh, protect the lungs and, and the heart. As human beings, we do have a backbone which protects the spinal cord. We do have ribs as human beings or as people. We do have ribs that protect our lungs and the heart. Shoulder plates, arms, legs, hips, and bones for movement. These animals on the bottom of the screen, they do have joints. They do have, you can say, arms and legs. They do have hip bones. Therefore, they can move. Then movement. Vertebrate animals can move because they are they have muscles attached to the skeletons. Joints between their bones. Hence, most of these animals, they can bend, they can jump, they can do various movements. Frame and shell structures. A vertebrate skeleton is a frame structure. Some invertebrate skeletons are shell structures. 
such as that of a crab. Now let's look at the life cycle of a, a chicken and a life cycle of a, a frog. Okay, then in our, in our previous slide, we did look at um, invertebrate and invertebrate. And also we did look at the food chain. So far we have covered three subtopics. Now our, our third topic, which will be a life cycle. Then there's a big argument, possibly you've heard about it. Some people even make jokes about it, uh, about which one came first to, to the world between the chicken and an egg. But for this lesson, we will not focus on that one. I am going to teach you about the growth and development of animals. Plants and animals grow and develop through their lives. A life cycle describes the stages and processes that take place as a plant or animal grows and develops. Let's look at our picture, a picture of a frog. This picture describes a life cycle of a frog. We have an adult frog. We have a froglet frog. We do have a tadpole with legs and we do have legs. A life cycle describes how one generation of a plant or animal gives rise to the next generation through reproduction. That can occur at any stage of the life cycle. As we have experienced, possibly some of you have experienced um, that you might have a, a dog where you stay, then let's say your dog gives birth to, um, to puppies. Some of the puppies in most cases, they do not make it into, into life. They die instantly after, they, after their mother or, or, or gave birth. And so they die instantly. So many animals care for their babies in order for them to grow and develop. And so now it's your turn. I want to draw a table and list five types of vertebrates and list five types of invertebrates. Remember, vertebrates, these are animals with skeleton. Invertebrates, these are animals without skeletons. Please draw a table, or if you don't draw a table, can you list, or give me a list in your chat box of, of these five um, types of animals that I have um, discussed with you now. And in your spare time, possibly you can Google how a life cycle of a butterfly is and draw and label a life cycle of a butterfly. Then, our takeaway message is all living and non living um, on and sorry, all living. On living and non-living uh, things depend on each other for their existence to preserve the environment and to look after it then here's a useful link please um, go on to the link it will give you more information about the topic that we have unfolded today And so please do follow us. Um, my email is lakikazi at gmail.com. Please follow us on social media. 
it's African Tin Geeks. And also, whenever you answer your questions or whenever you want to engage on some of the questions and content, please do hashtag us. It's hashtag lockdown e schools. And thank you for so much for the lesson. And I hope to see you tomorrow. I'll look at your answers now. Let's see. Okay, let me look at the answers. Now, let's see. So far, I don't see any answers here. I wonder how many participants were here for this lesson. Um, okay, a springbok. Bushe, thank you so much Bushe, for your answer. Then Bushe again, a cheetah. Omnivores, pig, thank you so much, Bushe. Cows, uh, rhino, giraffe, elephant, jag jaguar, tiger, and lion. You you gave me um, a good description of uh, herbivores and a good description of carnivores. Then um, there's Lindo. Lindo, I usually see you in my sessions together with Bushe. Uh, you gave me a good description as well of a um, horse, a whale, a dog, a cat, humans. You have described um, all, all living organisms which have bones. And thank you so much for the lesson. And so I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye. Have a good day.